Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of December. So we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Leo for the month of December? Now, I am going to do weeklies for December, so I am, believe it or not. I'm just getting caught up right now. Um, yeah, so what do we have for Leo? This is for any time in December. What do we have for Leo in December? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One card, please. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is all about love. Very delicate, very sweet, giving. It's a very giving energy, you see. Somebody is, go is going to be receiving some sort of help by the looks of things. Somebody may be receiving some help from a very caring individual. Um, that's the way I feel like this is. I feel like somebody is about to receive some help. Um... Whoever is giving, and this could be your energy, your energy, whoever is giving the, the help is very kind and compassionate and generous. So I do believe you're going to be receiving some help from somebody. Um, now, I don't know if it's a mother or it's a motherly figure. Could be a counselor, could be a nurse, some sort of very compassionate uh, spiritual being. This is somebody that is very spiritual, you can tell. Um, so you're going to be receiving some support from somebody. Um, that's the way I see it. Could be a water sign. Does not have to be. Um, whoever it is, you're going to be receiving something. So don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to be getting some sort of, uh, I don't know, help. That's the way I see it. Or care. Somebody cares. Somebody really, really cares by the looks of things. Whoever this person is, they're very kind and gentle. You may be even having coffee with somebody new this month. You know, you may be going out and having coffee with somebody. Um, anyhow, what do we have? Really? What the hell? Oh, that made a mark on my wall from yesterday. Damn it. Oh, well. Ooh, the lovers. Wow, that just brought chills right down my arms. And I'm, I mean, in, in uh, side real astrology, I'm Leo rising, but uh, this is not, this is for you, not for me. Now, this is the lover's card. This is an unexpected choice in love, okay? It really is, and I can tell that it is, but that Queen of Cups as well. So I, it is definitely an unexpected choice in love. This, uh, there could be some sort of new connection here. This is a soulmate connection. It's a new contract. It could be a healing love because this is a healer. This is a healer over here. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of healing connection, okay, this month. It looks really, really good, doesn't it? Um, this is seeing eye to eye. I mean, take a look at that. It is really seeing eye to eye, being in perfect, uh, connection with another person it's like when you look at this person you just know you know there's a feeling of deep connectedness it's easy it's an easy connection um some sort of alignment you may be falling in love with somebody or somebody may be falling in with you or, or obviously it's going to be mutual by the looks of things um wow wow and it's unexpected because this is unexpected um so what else do we have for leo for december now that now the lover's card is a union it doesn't have to be the lovers okay it doesn't have to be a lover okay it could be somebody else but it is it is some sort of contract or partnership where there will be a mutual understanding this one fell out it got caught in my hand so there's going to be a mutual understanding between, and, and here we have two people too. So there's going to, you're going to be with another person that you align with very, very well this month. It's almost like, it feels like you've been waiting. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and here they come. They hear like out of nowhere, right? Ooh, 
haystack. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. Ooh, pig. This is one that fell out. Beware of greed. So there is somebody that needs to beware of greed. Um, somebody's going to be getting some karma. But I, I mean, <laughs> these look really good. So it could be something good. Um, but there's a need to beware of greed. I mean, we all have ego. So don't let anything go to your head. Okay? Um, very interesting. Karma, you will reap what you have sown, good or bad. Interesting, to say the least. There's some karma coming. But whatever it is, that's, that's, that's very positive in the upright. Definitely going to be a connection. Somebody's going to be connecting with you. I don't know why that beware of greed is here, but it is. So that is something you need to take account of. Four of pen That's greed. That is greed. So that we definitely have a greedy individual here. And I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Now, our ego would like to say, or would say, it's not me. But that's when you need to le look down deep, okay? So don't go saying it's not you. Because then I, that was your ego saying that. So this is, this is obsessed. This is obsession. This is greedy. This is a miser. This is somebody that is very frivolous, that doesn't have anything to give. And maybe this is about giving your time, giving giving something away. You know, don't don't hide your your maybe it's not. Don't hide yourself. You know, don't hide your value. Don't hide your worth. Um, we got somebody here that is hiding something. They're getting ready to bury something. They're hiding something that they should be sharing. It's, you need to open up. You need to give. You're going to need to give to a situation. You're going to need to give. Don't let money impact you. And this is, it feels like we have somebody here that doesn't have very much. And they may be worried. They may be worried. Don't worry. It doesn't matter what you have. Okay? It's, there's somebody coming. There's somebody coming to help you. It is part of your karma. And I don't think that you should be hiding anything. You know, don't hide anything. Um, I don't know why this beware of greed is here, but we have it a couple times. Anyhow, um, so... Sudden arrival. Sudden arrival, perhaps. Now, this is being at a crossroads. This is a choice as well, choosing, needing to choose. Do you want to you want to move forward? Do you want to stay stuck? What do you want to do? You're going to be forced or you're going to be faced, not forced. You're going to be faced with a decision, faced with a choice. And we do have a choice. And there's going to be a choice between two paths, obviously, because a choice is a choice between more than one. So you're going to be, you're going to be presented with a choice. Uh... And there's a need to open up. There's a need to, you know, let leave the past behind. Leave something behind. You have an exciting opportunity right in front of you. But it looks like you're holding on to something that you need to let go of. You see this one right here? It's like you haven't grabbed it yet. Grab it. Grab onto it. There's something in front of you that you need to grab onto. But there's hiding. There's hiding something. You need to open up. And there's something that you are holding on to that you need to let go of. And I'm, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure that you do. You know, this is a, this is, you know, a decision that you need to make. Now, this is about either suddenly, now suddenly leaving or suddenly going. You have an opportunity to do something suddenly. It's a sudden choice. Hmm. May have something to do with moving or expanding yourself in some way because that two of wands can be about expansion, but it's it's typically about making a choice. You're gonna have to make some sort of decision. It's gonna be a spur of the moment decision. And it has to do with giving something away. You know, you might have to give something away. A spur of the moment decision to give something away. 
I don't know what it is. Um, maybe it's something you've been saving and you need to get rid of it because it's, this is saving. It's uh, choose another path. So I don't know what it is, but I know that you do. Oh, the world card. Now the world is a new beginning. It's the end of a chapter. This is success. It's a successful completion being recognized. Somebody is going to recognize. This is leaving the past behind, stepping into a new life. This is a whole new you. This is an accomplishment, leaving the past behind. So I wonder if there is going to be some sort of public recognition. I feel like you've learned some sort of lesson or you're learning some sort of lesson right now. You've completed a something very significant in your life, a significant chapter. And it may have to do with greed. Maybe that's what it is. It may have to do with hiding something or holding on to something that you need to let go of. You know, and it feels like once you let go of it, your dreams come true. And I think I've been saying that for a long time now. But anyhow... Um, This is a wholeness of some sort. Something is over. A chapter is over in your life. This is a whole new world. It's a whole new life that is about to begin for you. You are about to start a whole new life. That Four of Pentacles is a problem though. That is stability. Holding on to something that you need to let go of. You know, I've said that over and over again. And I've said it multiple times. And I, I, it's like, why? There is something you guys need to let go of. And you've been holding on to it for a long time. Uh, you know, whatever. Let it fucking go. It's worthless. Whatever, you don't have to listen. Obviously. <laughs> Anyhow, you're about to get something. You will reap what you have sown. And, and then we got this greed right next to it. It's not about what you have. Okay? It's not about the things that you have. That's just superficial. Anyhow. Um, you do have a new connection here. You are going to be starting a new chapter. Uh, and it is going to be successful, but it has to do with choosing a new path, which is interesting. Some of you may be traveling or moving or something like that. King of Swords. You may be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is decisive. Make a decision. Decide. Maybe you have to let go of this person. You Maybe you're holding on to this person. And it doesn't have to be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Whoever this person is, this person doesn't seem to be communicating very well. They seem like they're a little angry and upset. They feel like their mind is made up. They're not going to change their mind. And this is an ending. So perhaps you need to accept something. Because this is an acceptance. It is. So you, maybe you need to accept an ending with whoever this person is. Could be a male or a female. Whoever this person is, this person is... Uh, has made up their mind. They're not changing their mind. Very, very decisive. Very firm in whatever they've decided. So I feel like we have... Maybe you're holding on to this person or this... I don't know. Maybe you need to take on this energy and you need to stick to a decision. Could be both. Somebody needs to stick to a decision. I do feel like uh, there's going to be some sort of challenging information that comes in regarding that person this month. You may receive some challenging information that uh, helps you to choose. I mean, it helps you to see something because wands are about visions. You know, you may you may receive some challenging information about an individual or from an individual that you have been holding on to that helps you to complete that life lesson because the world card is a life lesson with that person. You've learned some sort of lesson and it has to do with holding on, holding on to something that 
you know, maybe it was just a sexual situation, but that Ace of Wands, maybe it was some sort of passionate connection, but you have another option right in front of you, but you have to let go of the other one first, whatever that means. I do believe also you're going to be receiving some information in regards to, you know, a completion. You know, maybe this person is moving or this person is traveling or this person has made another choice, you know, and that may be what causes you to uh, end it. You know, there is an ending here because the world card is an ending. It's a major ending. That's over. That's that's it. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. So you may be saying it's over or they may be saying it's over and it's very factual. Okay, so this is a fact. I think that you're going to be uh, hearing some sort of news that, and I think it's unexpected, that helps you to move on. Put it that way. Um, seven of Wands. Reverse. This is defeated. Giving up. This is surrendering. It is the Seven of Wands. Reverse. That 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 that's giving up. That is uh, not doing it. You know, it's it's worn down. It's feeling powerless. It's uh, stepping down. Stepping down. Somebody's going to be stepping down. And I feel like it's it's giving up. So somebody is, is, and it's interesting that I put it right here, they're going to be uh, giving up, trying to defend, trying to uh, explain themselves. It's like, you know what, I just give up. No more fighting. The end. I think there's been some sort of competition here. Okay, this is the end of a competition. I feel like there's... It's, it's like admitting, it's admitting, admitting that it's time to go. Somebody may be admitting that it's time to let go. It's, it's time to go. I do feel like there's some sort of fight here, though, with the Seven of Wands. There could definitely be an argument or a fight that is coming. Um, oh, bad news. Bad news. Okay, so uh, you may be dealing with another fire sign or it could be an air sign. I'm not sure. But this is bad news. It's a setback. You are going to be experiencing a setback or you have experienced a setback by holding on to somebody that, I don't know if it's a sexual connection or what. You've got to let go of this person. It feels like that's all it is. It feels like it's just a sexual connection that it is. Because see all the wands are passion, you know. It's almost like you've been waiting for this person to fight for you or you've been waiting for this person to show up, you know, and you've been waiting, but this person doesn't have any follow through. They were like just looking for one thing. So anyway, I feel like you need to uh, be wise. You need to use your head. You need, and this is use your head because whoever you're dealing with is using their head. They're not, there's no heart involved here. Okay, so you the re, what I'm trying to say is you have somebody else. Okay, and if you are in a married happy relationship, then this 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 is that part of the reading isn't for you. Okay, this is for somebody that is struggling. They are struggling with uh, whether they should stay hanging on to somebody or whether they should let go, um, or whether they want to move. This could have to do with moving as well. So if you maybe it has to do with whether you want to stay or you want to go. Maybe you want to move. Maybe you and your partner want to move. This does ha so some of you may be moving and it may have to do with needing money to move or or, or uh, maybe even have to do with a house, you know, um, wanting to get more money for a house but it's time to move on. Just let it go to hell with the money. To hell with it. Just let it fucking go so that you can move on. So that you can be free. So I don't know if it's a house or what it is. But, um, or wanting, somebody may have been wanting to get into a relationship or a partnership for a house. I don't know where that's coming from. But there's something to do with money here. Anyhow, um, but the other person reciprocated sexually. So I don't know who that is for. Um... But anyway, I feel like you need to make a decision. You need to stick to it. You need to be honest with yourself. I feel like something is over. It is completely over. And you need to accept it. I see 
see that you need to focus on your future and leave the past behind. And I think that's what you are going to be doing. You may be using discernment, a lot of discernment this month and saying, no, I do because it's like, no, I'm not interested. I think that you are going to be telling somebody no. And I think it's because you have another opportunity. You know, I feel like you have another opportunity that is more aligned with your soul that is like right in front of you. So yeah, there's another opportunity that is right in front of you, but because you've been holding on to something that is of materialistic value, I mean, it is, it's some sort of stability. And if it's not materialistic value, it could be have to do with your insecurities, you know, your inner insecurities that made you feel secure in some way. You need to let that go. Okay. Even if it's not easy, you need to face the challenge, even though it's not easy. It may not be easy to let go or to complete something or to accept that something is over, you know, but I think that this month you're really going to be accepting it. And I think because you do, there's a new opportunity here that brings you alignment, that brings you in harmony with somebody. You know, I do feel like there's going to be an unexpected um, arrival, okay, as soon, because this is a spur of the moment decision, as soon as you give up on an individual that doesn't have any follow through. So I don't know, I don't know who this person is, um, but this person does not plan on following through. They don't have any desire to, but I think there may have been some sort of, I don't know if it's a sexual connection or what. Um, I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. I think you're going to be seeing something very, very clearly. You're going to be receiving some clarity this month. Okay, you're going to see very, very clearly that you have a better option and you do have a better option I think it's gonna be very 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 clear that you do I feel like this better option is probably it could be a Gemini or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio um, and maybe this beware of greed is about letting go don't just because something made you be secure you know even if it was a false security if it doesn't serve you let it go let it go. If it's no longer there, let it go. If it doesn't give you attention, if it doesn't communicate with you, if it's not making you happy, if there's no love, let it go because you have an opportunity here for love. Okay. I do believe, I feel like you're going to be looking in somebody's eyes or you're going to be communicating with somebody or you're going to, it really feels like you're going to be in close proximity with another person. And I don't know if it's a work partnership or it's a um, love connection. You're going to be, you're going to be receiving some sort of, I feel like tender loving care from somebody. Um, or you may be providing it. You may be the one that is providing it. Um, there is somebody that you are going to be connecting with, put it that way. Um, Let's get one more card. On a spiritual level, you're going to be connecting with this person on a spiritual level. And a bond is going to be deepening. But it's but you have two choices here, okay? This is a choice and this is a choice. So you got two choices. You get you can you can bond with the person that you're holding on with onto that isn't bonding back. That is just looking for something else or you can bond with a new connection you know but you can't have both and maybe that's where greed comes in I don't know one more card you do have a major new beginning here you've learned some sort of lesson or you're about to You are moving towards a better future, and there is no doubt about it. You're completing a cycle in your life. Or that world card would not be here. And it's a cycle of insecurities. It is. Ooh. So this is, it's interesting that I put it right here, because remember I said about that other contract, you have two, you do, you have two options here. You have to break free from the false contract. And it ain't going to be easy. I can tell by the look on this person's face. And that could be yours. Or and the other person's. Okay. Somebody else has already made up their mind. Except. This is except. It's not going to be easy to break a contract. Or to end a contract. And this. I don't know if it's a home contract. Or what it is. But this is letting go of a contract. 
could be a karmic contract because you have something better. So this month, the only thing I can ask you to do is focus on the future. It's time for you to focus on the future. Let go of whatever it is that you are holding on to because you have something better. But the universe is waiting for you to make your decision. Good luck.